So continuing on with the Crisis on Infinite Earths DC Multiverse action figure, it is time to check out the Kid Flash from this wave, of course, with the tiny hands. I kid. So yeah, of course, this is part of the monitor, build a figure wave. So of course, taking a look at the packaging, see the two build a figure pieces right there. Of course, it is part of the gold label collection as it is a McFarlane Toy Store exclusive. Back of the box is really nothing special. Just shows you the build a figure pieces. So let's crack it open. But first and foremost, let's take a look at the accessories that come with this action figure. And what we got, of course, as always, is the trusty trading card with Wally West on the front there. The action figure stand, the monitor legs, and then of course an extra set of running open hands. Let's take a look at the details on this Wally West figure. I have been wanting a classic suit in this color scheme for the Flash for a very long time. And it just so happens to be that this is his particular design in the Crisis on Infinite Earths storyline. And I think that the colors really pop quite a bit. The yellows and the reds are just beautiful. Almost a perfect paint scheme. Now, as far as the articulation goes, quite a bit of it. I mean, of course, the shoulders have a lot. The biceps, the elbows, hands, the wrists, ab crunch. The head is a 360 and it's on a ball joint, of course. The legs, there's quite a bit of leg articulation from the hips, the knees, ankles, and the toes. So standard McFarlane articulation. Here's what, I, here's what I like about the figure. I really like the head sculpt. I think that this particular head with the red accents there and the hair flowing out like that, you can see the details on it, it's pretty good. I love how much the yellows and the reds accent each other. It's freaking awesome. Even down to the boot, of course it's got this piece here. Just an overall pretty cool action figure. One thing to note, I do believe that this is the same body mold. Not that it matters, this doesn't matter to me, but it's just something I notice. I believe this may be the same body mold as the, correct me if I'm wrong, as the Teen Titans or the Titans Nightwing that came out about six or seven months ago. It very well could possibly be. Not a huge deal. So that's what I like about the figure, I think. It's an excellent piece for this particular storyline and wave of action figures. Really fits well. It's a pretty good figure. Now let's talk about what I don't like. And there's just one thing. It's these really tiny hands. Not the biggest fan of that, but it's not the end of the world for me. I might just pose him with a, his arms folded anyway, or something along that line. Maybe something like this or you know, you kind of get the picture. So at the end of the day, not really a big deal. As far as a grading on this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B plus. It's a solid action figure, really cool details and articulation. It doesn't miss. The only thing I think, like I said, was the tiny hands. So not a huge deal, but it's still an overall a really good action figure. So if you're interested, I still believe that these are available right now on McFarland Toy Store. And as always, be sure to engage with the post, like, Comment, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Anyway, I'll see you on the next action figure review. Peace.